cookies and sessions these are the two major concepts for php or any code igniter web framework so today now like we will understand in this chapter about cookies as well as sessions so this chapter is complete focus about understanding cookies and sessions so first of all let's start with the diagram which is present now so here you get the pictorial representation of how cookies and sessions are managed so it is like we have the client and server application structure so cookies is the one which interacts from the client perspective it includes all the user information in it which has the information related to the session activity as well so both are like interdependent also somewhere like and connected to each other when it comes to the uh, transformation or, or you can say the communication from client server end so we have the http client over here as you can see in the diagram so all the cookies as well as the sessions are completely dependent on these client server communication like the two way client server communication or the one way or whatever the request and response is sent it is all managed with the help of cookies and sessions so now the basic concept comes in our mind like how cookies and session interact with each other and how they are managed so we have this picture over here here you can have a look that there is an http client you can say client is nothing but the one which manages the user information saves the user information and it awaits for the response and sends information to the server see for example login i have given an example over here with the username and password so it is sending this request to the server to check whether my login and password is correct or not to the http server what does the http server does the http server it checks with the session id the username create date expiry date last access date and all various parameters to the database so session is nothing but the particular stipulated time period where all the users interact with each other so cookies and sessions are based on that perspective so coming out with the picture like cookies includes the information which is sent through the client to server so that is nothing but the request information and the request is then later verified under the server end like whatever the information for example username and password is correct or not and this http protocol is stateless because once it ends it ends terminates completely it does not save any information for this session activity so this information is saved and later all the information is gathered from in the cookies end because cookies is nothing but the one which saves the user information so it is like all this information is saved in the client side and sessions is the one which maintains the interaction with the client as well as the server side thing so that is a basic difference between both of them one more thing cookies store information in the end user browser client side until it is deleted whereas sessions data stored in session are stored on to the server so that is a basic difference between both of them when we understand from php concept or any php framework for now it is code igniter we should keep this picture in our mind like we are going to use cookies as well as sessions while developing a web application so we got a brief description or a basic difference between both of them so in this picture also you can see that i have taken some parameters over here with the cookie session id and the content as david so once the access is verified from the server end like okay the username and the password is correct or not it is sent to the cookies like yes the login information is verified and it is correct once it is verified the server cookie saves the information into its system and it keeps this information with respect to the identification of a user and the identification of the user is indirectly done from the session end so that is the way interaction takes place from both of them so this is the major picture for cookies as well as the session interaction there is also a thing that cookie is used for identification of user whereas sessions are nothing but the one which are used to interact with the user and get the information in the next chapter we'll understand about creation as of cookies as well as creation of the sessions that is cookie management and session management in code igniter and how they are managed over here because in code igniter also we maintain these parameters like core php like having a cookies as well as a session as http is a stateless protocol so we need to maintain this inside our framework and in a perfect way so that is the focus we will be dealing with in our upcoming chapters about understanding with respect to cookie management and session management 
and the major difference between both of them like how a framework handles both the request simultaneously or with together or separately so let's focus to our next cha next chapter session management when building websites we often need to track the users activity that happens sometime and it stayed for this purpose so we have to use session for that purpose so this chapter is completely about understanding the session management with code igniter perspective so code igniter has a session class for this purpose okay so which manages everything related to the users activity with a stipulated time period okay so let's have a look on initializing a session so initializing a session is simply done first of all we'll understand how the session management works with code igniter so initializing a session is completely like in this per format like dollar this load with the library and the session this can be a like any kind of a session which you might need to start okay after loading a session we need to add a data so that is done with dollar this session so in that way we can do it after that we have to add a session data so adding a session data means some variables associated to it so that will be in php we simply use dollar underscore session array to set the data so same format is followed over here where we have a session and inside that we have the key and the associated value for it so that is adding a session data in code igniter this can be the key can be with the n number of arrays and the associated arrays with the values that can be possible it's up to you based on the requirement what should be displayed on the screen then comes remove session data removing a session data means like in php we can remove the data using unset functions so similarly so removing a session data in code igniter is very simple it is just with a simple function call that is unset user data with the value so say some name is nothing but the key value so automatically the value for that key associated with it will be removed so if you want to remove more values okay it happens that instead of giving a uh, one 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 unset data like one one keys for it there can be a scenario like you can to you want to remove more values or to remove an entire array for it and in that scenario you will just say unset user data dollar the array name will be initialized which will completely delete all or it will unset the session data of the function then we have fetching up the function so that is done with dollar name this session data user data name so after setting the data we can also retrieve it so user data this is the example okay so user data function will be used for this purpose so the function will return null if the data you are trying to access is not available if this data is not available in the session it will return a null value so let's move to our code base we'll create a controller and view associated with the session and just check out the example like what we get it so let's moving on to our code base let's moving on to the code base here we have our code to be defined inside controllers in new file the name of the file would be like session underscore controller dot php so i'm going to create this file so after creating specifying the name we get a blank file so my file is being created over here i'm going to include the logic for session so my logic will be included inside the php codes so inside php first of all i declare the class that is class session underscore controller and i'm going to extend this class so it will be extends ci ci should be ci specifically check for the spelling mistake ci underscore controller and here i'm going to define my logic within this class so my class has been declared and the name of the class should be same as that of the file name now comes public function i'm going to say for the default function that is index inside index i'm going to specify the parameter inside the comment first of all i'll take a comment that is loading session so inside index i'm going to load a session so i say session library so i'm going to load it with the help of library as i mentioned in the beginning of this chapter only every session is loaded automatically with the help of library so i say dollar this load library session so this is a normal syntax for loading a session which we had a look 
And now we need to add the data in the session. So I say adding data to session. Now inside this, I'm going to say dollar this and do, it would call for adding up the session data. So it will call for the function that is session and next would be set underscore user data. So this is my function. Inside that I'm going to specify the value, the name of name and the value of the name would be user. So this is like my parameter is name with the value as user. So next after setting up the data, I'm going to give the other parameter that is loading. So I say dollar this load. I'm going to load a view because we need to show up this value somewhere. So we need a view. So name of the view is session underscore view. So I'm done with this uh, loading section where I loaded the user data and the uh, as well as the view part. Now after this, what is the important criteria? So I have set the user data. Now the next function. So I'll start with the next function that is public function unset session underscore data. So here I will check that I'm going to unset all the values of the session. Unset means I'm going to remove all the values of the session. So that is loading session library and then I say dollar this load and I specify for loading the library as library session and inside the session library. So I've loaded the session and specify with semicolon at the end. After that comes the comment section. After this comes removing session data. So I've unset the values means that I'm going to unset the variable values. Now removing session data is done with dollar this session unset and the function is unset user data. Like set user data is for setting up the values, unset user data is for removing the values. So name is the parameter or I can say the key, key of my values. So I'm going to unset my user data and then I'm going to say load view. I'm going to create another view. We are not created view now. I'm just going specifying the name session underscore view. So these two views are important to be created. For now, I just included in my comment section because we will focus on creating a view and then we will implement our code and see how it changes. So inside views, I'm going to create a file named session underscore view dot PHP. Here, I'm going to create my view in the normal uh, HTML doc type. So I say doc type, this is the HTML declaration I'm specifying. And here I will give the doc type declaration. Do check for the HTML tags enclosure. It should be properly done. That's why we need brackets or some other editor which gives you the proper enclosure of all the HTML tags. Then comes my head. And inside head, I will specify my meta tag. That is meta cassette UTF-8. So I specified for my meta tag. And then comes my title. So the title is code igniter. It's for the session management. So I say code igniter session management. Okay, specified my title. Now comes my next section that is nothing but the body section. So I'll say body and inside body I will call for welcome. This I would like to enclose this in the uh, particular tag or something. So I can even say it in a normal way. Welcome. Now I'll enclose my PHP codes with echo. I'm calling up for the value. So I say dollar this session. The values are present for that particular session. So dollar this session, user data, and next is name. So I'm calling for the value of user data. So this user data, as we saw for set user data and unset user data, Simply user data means I'm calling for the variables in the session. So this was for calling up for the values in session. Next, I'll include a break tag. And inside the break tag, I'm going to say href equal to the values inside it. That would be 
unset and this is like for clearing of the data or something like that. I can say click here. So I will specify as click here first of all to unset because a user should not should be able to get like what is this click all about the anchor tag all about. So I say click here if you want to unset your data. So I specify with the method name inside the href functionality. So this will call for the method associated to it that is HTTP localhost or you can simply call for the base URL code igniter project and the location the name of the function after that would be that's index.php slash name of the function so for us now I'm giving the route section so inside that I'm going to specify my session controller so that is route this is always beneficial although you can give the name of the function as declared in the controller but routing would be beneficial if you want to give small names so I say session X and here I specify session underscore controller okay now I will call for this function that is session X so inside session X I am going to click to unset the data so this was a creation of a view now after creating the controller and the view for session management it is important to check in our browser for our project so this is our browser i call for index.php and next is session x uh, unfortunately i'm getting a 404 error this can be because of the error mentioned in some browse.php or somewhere else the variable problem let's figure it out yes inside session x i see an extra s written inside session controller so this was the error so always avoid your mistakes this like because of the spelling mistake which happened better you can copy paste what is the exact name so that i'm doing right now because this would avoid any kind of the confusion if we are creating a new controller so now i can see this value so i'm going to welcome user means my name parameter who called for the user and on clicking up this i'm going to unset the data so i say click here so click here would be for unsetting the values so unset data will redirect me to the this page so this was like a creation like my uh, session has been managed accordingly by unsetting the values and this would make the management quite simpler if you're a developer you will get a better picture now like session management was started with the creation of the data and then we unset it accordingly so unset was redirecting me to the home page this was my system you can do it accordingly the way you want